Here are my top 15 tools you might need for 3D printing. Whether they're purchased or printed, these are the tools that I use to help me make everything look great. And honestly, some of these may surprise you. I'll have links to the prints and there'll also be some Amazon affiliate links to most of the tools as well. And by the way, I'm throwing these out in no particular order since the most important tool you're going to need is usually the one that you need right then. First up, cutting pliers, nippers, flush cutters, whatever you call it. This is the tool that is almost indispensable. For some reason, it seems like almost every 3D printer comes with the same blue handled tool and they work pretty good until they don't. I have bought a couple of different ones from Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Amazon, places like that. They all work along the same line as long as you get the ones with the tiny cutting head that's flat on the side. The bigger wire cutters are okay for cutting filament on the spool, but they're not so great for cleaning up a print. Speaking of cleaning up prints, I would be willing to bet most of you haven't thought about getting a deburring tool. I've done woodworking most of my life and I've actually used this tool a good bit, but it never occurred to me I could use one of these on my 3D prints until I'd been printing for a while. It works great to clean off brim residue and knock down those sharp edges. Now tweezers are another tool you may not have thought about. They work great for getting into those small areas your pliers just won't reach. I recommend not only getting some nice regular tweezers, but the ones with the very fine point are great to help getting up tape or digging out some tiny problems. Allen wrenches are another one of those must-have tools that seem to come with just about every 3D printer. And unless they're just cheap and weak or way too small, they last pretty much forever. But come on, they're a pain sometimes, a lot of times, to work with. So when I saw these handles that I could just print out and attach to my Allen wrenches, well, I had to give it a try. Why didn't I do this sooner? I do have more than a couple of sets of Allen wrenches, so I'm gonna leave these on here permanently. They really do make it so much easier to use. Now this next tool isn't a toy, even though it kind of seems like that's what a rubber hammer is. It's hammer go, hammer, hit the hammer, yo. I grabbed one of these on a whim a while back and I've actually used it for quite a few different projects. Whacking in a stubborn part that just doesn't go together is pretty satisfying. And if you get one like this with a metal end, you can even whack apart those prints you're just frustrated with. I just said whack a couple of times in a video about 3D printing stuff, so uh... Say hello to my little friend. Alcohol for cleaning your print beds, pretty common, but don't do what I did for a while. I bought the bottle, poked a hole in the top, and just poured it out and that didn't work great. So when I found a couple of different small spray bottles, I switched over and never looked back. I didn't think about it before, but it, it actually makes sense that my alcohol seems to last a lot longer now since it, you know, it spread out a lot better. To help with that alcohol, don't forget the cleaning cloth. I found a pack of these microfiber cloths a while back and anything like this just works great. And when you've used them for a while, just throw them in the wash. Just don't use any fabric softener. Your prints will not be happy with you if you uh, smear that all over the build plate. Don't let me! A pair of scissors always comes in handy, either to cut open your new filament spool, cut tape, whatever the need. I like these heavy duty ones that are sort of like medical shears, but whatever you get, be sure to get heavy duty scissors since, you know, I know you're gonna try to cut filament with it. You know what I'm talking about. Pliers are one of those things that you probably don't know you need until you actually need it. I recommend grabbing a set with a couple of different sizes. Keep them in your tool drawer next to your set of screwdrivers. I have a lot of screwdrivers in all sizes and shapes, but it seems like these really long skinny ones are they're the ones that I use the most with 3D printing stuff. Along with that, I purchased this little electric screwdriver set a while back and I've really used it a lot. Wish it had better torque, but it comes with a whole lot of different attachments and really small sizes, great for 3D printers. If I need something bigger or stronger, I grab my other electric screwdriver. But then, if I need to, I can move up to my drill for even more power. Uh -huh. What do all men with power want? More power. A bed scraper is a must-have, even though to me at least it seems like they don't work all that great most of the time. Well, at least not until I saw this print. The Purge Line Ninja Scraper builds itself as a purge line tool, you know, that line that most printers lay down before actually printing that just helps you get the filament flowing. But honestly, I use it on just about every print. It fits in my hand extremely well, just seems to hit the edge of those prints perfectly to pop them off the plate. You don't have to own a bamboo or other multicolor 3D printer to need this next tool. Most of us have been at some point annoyed or just downright mad when 
You got a spool of filament that was either horribly wound on the spool or the spool itself just actually wasn't made to fit any type of 3D printer found on the planet Earth. So enter the filament spool winder. Found this print not too long ago when I was annoyed over a spool of filament. Everything's printed except you'll need 14 608 bearings, you know, those skateboard bearings, and you'll need a small length of PTFE tubing. Oh, and a, a drill of some kind. It works way better than I really thought it would. Perfect automatic winds and a pretty stable model. The only real problem I had with this design for me was that I only had about a dozen of the 608 bearings. But that's when I remembered a print from a while back. It is so weird to me how many 3D prints seem to use these skateboard bearings. So here's some of those same bearings you can print and they actually work. I've used a couple on my filament spool winder and if I have a need for metal ones in the future, I'm planning to just replace them in the winder with these printed ones. I will say that I had to sand these down just a little bit to get them to fit, but otherwise they work great. I think it's also incredible the designer made an online generator so you can create custom sized bearings. Now I know there has to be at least a few tools that I didn't mention, like this glue stick, number 16. Only use the purple washable kind on your build plate. Okay, if you think of others, please leave a comment, let us all know where to find it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, help us out here by sharing, liking, and subscribing so that I can keep helping you as you learn, create, and amaze.